Do you have any good solutions to the problems facing society, especially racism, child and spousal abuse and violence among young people? Yeah, this is, you know, maybe it's been, let the, okay, maybe it's been a problem since the beginning of man that there's been racism and people abusing others, um, people abusing children, spouses, females abusing men or men, women, etc. cetera. Um, but I think the most important thing we can do is to celebrate the differences because it's the differences that makes us great. Um, even if you, again, go back to a previous question I answered about being inspired by microbiology and biology, the reason why um, we um, continue to thrive is because our, our variety of our gene pool and, and, and the DNA and, and the differences between us, if we were all the same, we would eventually be wiped out. Um, and so it's differences that really makes us stronger and better. And um, you know, the fact that every single person on this planet is unlike any other person, it, it's pretty obvious that um, we, we should not latch on to what we do have in common to say, oh, this is a better skin color, or this is a better eye color, or a better size, or et cetera. Um, and so I think to, to bridge this gap, though, um, that's an easy question to answer like that. But how do you do it? The schools are really good about um, celebrating and making awareness of, you know, Martin Luther King Day. And, and e even my youngest, Harmony, has uh, got to know Martin Luther King in, in preschool. That was, I thought that was pretty cool. So they're really good about um, creating awareness. Um, but I think they could expand that and um, create awareness um, not only in racial things and ethnic things, um, but maybe in subculture things. So how interesting would it be to take a class to understand what the grits think, or the cowboys think, as they call them, as opposed to the nerds, the chess club, the cheerleaders, the you know. What about kind of making a, a um, awareness, public awareness thing in a class at elementary age about those groups? Because I think when they grow older, they begin to have animosity towards each other, judgments toward each other. But if you took advantage of those years when they're more open and, and expanded that program to include the people they live with today, I think that would help.